I'm a broken record. I'm a broken record. I'm a broken. I'm a bro. I'm a bro. I'm a. I'm a bro. I'm a. I can't keep living on repeat. I'm a broken record. Alright, welcome back YouTubers and Mad Fans. This is Mad Money Shop, bringing you another gameplay footage. We got a good game today. Uh, as you can see, my cards are still the same. Some of my future gameplays, um, we're gonna have. Um, I have some seriously upgraded teams that I'm excited to bring you guys, and a lot of that's due to uh, some some charitable donator of mine who works closely with EA, uh, hooked me up with some good players, and uh, also Weekend League. I have I got some really good prizes from Weekend League last week. Uh, basically got me. Uh, I, I pulled one card that was a $200,000 worth card. I mean, that was like the best one I got. But either way, I get ball first. This guy here has Sean Taylor. You're going to see Sean Taylor step up a little bit in this game here, man. If I just went left, if I just went left, <laughs> it would probably be a touchdown. But you know what? AP's not the most uh, agile dude. I'm hurrying it up here because I like the advantage I see. As you can see, he looks like he's in like a dime or like a... He, I forget what the, call, what the formation is called. It might be the dollar. But uh, basically, I have a huge advantage because I have uh, two tight ends at the wide receiver positions. Um, some people go as far as putting three in this formation, which is like an old school trick. Uh, and this, you can, you can substitute a bunch of tight ends. I always only do two. Maybe it's because I don't want to be that cheesy. I'm not really sure. Um, but you can see I get about 30, 40 yards before I, I actually, I could have kept doing it. But, I mean, AP was getting tired. I could tell. I don't want to wear him down because once he gets tired, he can't accelerate through anyway. And then on the next play, I take him outside. After busting him up inside a little bit, I take him outside and get a touchdown. So four rushing plays, about 50, 60 yards in a touch. Uh, great way to start the game. So then he gets ball. And uh, this is a formation. I can't even say that I know what this formation is. If you guys know in the comment section what formation this is or what playbook it's in, it kind of looks like something in the Panthers book. Uh, but I swear to God, this dude runs this play, this formation rather, the entire game, and it was really hard to stop. It doesn't look that way early on. I have, I have a decent amount of success. As uh, every time I see, by the way, if I see Miller. Uh, on the Bears, I just think of that gruesome leg injury. I, I hope I don't go as far as to pop a link Damn! or pop up a little video of that leg injury. That was the worst leg injury I've probably ever seen. Dude almost lost his leg. Uh, but by the way, if you guys know what playbook this is, I would love to see it because this was one of the harder and cheesiest plays uh, formations to stop uh, that I can remember doing. And he only runs this formation pretty much the entire game. I only get him out of it like once or twice. Um, so like I said, if you guys know, let me know. I think it might be the Panthers. I'll probably check that out. Uh, but I would probably try to recreate a scheme out of that and share it with you guys. Because like I said, this is really hard to stop. It's a really good run formation, obviously. Uh, a little bit of a tell there as he motioned out the tight end to give himself a little edge blocking. Uh, but these pass plays were especially hard. I'm still hitting him with that blitz that I put out a little while ago. Um, but as you can see, for the most part, I'm worried about the run. And I'm pinching this line. I just want to force him laterally. As you can see there, he's just like hiking, hiking, hiking. I don't know if he thought my pass was real aggressive because it's not. I typically don't even do that anymore, to be honest with you. I just run it as is. Maybe I should mess with that a little bit, but I don't. But here, he actually almost gets that, but luckily the dude jumps out of bounds. So 4th and 19, you know this guy's cheesy as hell and has a hard-to-stop play. If you're going to run this type of formation on a 4th and 19... Uh, luckily, he throws it up, and you know what? I'm running cover four, so my man Cam Chancellor uh, comes down with it. I just sold Cam Chancellor, too, by the way. I had the uh, 91 Hero Chancellor, which I was totally in love with, uh, but somebody gave me a pretty good safety, um, and now I just got rid of Chancellor, and I, I miss him already, so I'm probably going to try to get him back. <laughs> if you guys want to know the truth about it, he's so good. Uh, I have been using the Paul Krause, though. You guys will see these guys in gameplay. Like I said, I got a little bit of a God Squad going uh, now. At least some gameplay footage of some God Squads coming up in the future. Uh, here on offense, though, I'm trying to put this game away. Two minutes and a half left in the second. Rolling out with my boy Cam. Uh, Cam Newton, man. I mean, he's still getting it done with his legs. As he said, pick about eight there. Uh, third and three, though. I probably could have let this play go. Uh, but I check it down, and I go out of bounds. Just a bad play all around. I shouldn't have rolled out. But you know what? We're going to go for it because I'm across the 50. In these weekend leagues, you have to go for it in certain situations. I'm not going to punt in this scenario. Uh, and I'm thinking I could get this easy. Throwing off my back foot, though, because you know what? If it's a pick, it's a pick. And then my man Moss is it. <laughs> my man Wallace coming up with a big play on fourth and three. That is incredible right there. Uh, total luck. And then he almost comes around and gets a block. I mean, that was actually pretty nasty. <laughs> so, uh, But either way, man, I'll take that. I mean, it was user. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like complete luck. I went up and got it. But, man, that type of throw off my back foot, Cam Newton getting it done. Um, just, you know, even if I didn't get it there, you know what I mean? What's the worst thing could have happened? You would have got the ball. So I chuck it up, and it works out. So here we go. He's got the ball. Now, that play, 
right there. There was a dude sitting underneath that round, and he just didn't like make a play on it or whatever. So here we're cross manning. Uh, we're starting to mix it up a little bit. I know he wants to go. Every time he rolls, I know where he wants to go. Um, you know what I'm saying? For safe tackling, he's only getting a couple yards. Run, he's running the hurry up now because this situation is pretty dire for him. I mean, being down 14 nothing, still running this play, though. Like I said, this guy, I mean, most people in these scenarios would get out of this, but he has so much faith in this formation, and believe me, he should. Because, like I said, these routes, for the most part, these pet, these lanes, I mean, there's almost always somebody open, like here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it, it, this is almost like my 100% completion play that I run out of the gun. It's just running out of like a five tight end set. I don't even know what this is. There's a four tight end set. But um, it's, it's you know, it's really hard to stop. I mean, he's got really good tight ends, too. I don't know who would go out and get this many tight ends. But look at that. He's trucking my dude. I mean, he's got to be a, 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 a Chicago fan, I'm guessing. Because, like I said, I don't know if that's the Miller that just snapped his leg in half. Like I said, I hope I didn't put the put the link in for that or <laughs> pop that in. But um, he's got really good tight ends. He's got, like, a, a, this four horsemen of tight ends here. Uh, I'm trying to get some pressure here. He's rolling out. Got to make a decision. He throws it away. He probably could have took off with it, though. If he would be, if this guy had somebody a little bit faster than Warren Moon, oh, my God, would this be cheesy? Uh, but he doesn't. So Jordan Howard, like I said, this man is just on, on a mission. Uh, he's not. I, don't, I know his mud card next year won't be as good. He's not having the best year. Uh, but they're third and five. Get the sack by Abraham. Uh, I got rid of Abraham too, man. I mean, there's another guy. It's just an absolute monster. Uh, but I got the I got the Ziggyansa, the Golden Ziggyansa. So fourth and twelve. I'm running to cover four, and it is just straight soft. Uh, he gets it down to the eight with about eight seconds left to go. And I'm, you know, what I mean, he tries to high point me. Doesn't work out. Um, he's this, like I said. There's rare times that this guy switched up out of that formation. This is one of them. And probably because if he only has deep passes and then there, you know, I messed that up. I actually zoned all the linebackers not noticing that I took away the man coverage on the running back, which who knows, you might have got it anyway. But a clutch play by him right as the half ends. So then he gets ball to start the second half, and he's in a position here where if he goes down and scores, he's making this a ball game. Uh, he, look here, I slow this down because I cross man this. I cross man my safety to Jimmy Graham. I know exactly where this play is. Look at this. He comes across, and he's wide open anyway. <laughs> like, it's ab water. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it did, like I'm cross manning perfectly, and it doesn't matter. So, um, you know, I, I'm at my wit's end here. Uh, he's still pounding the rock, too. Like I said, this is a really good run formation, obviously. I wish that I would have thought to try some mid blitzes and stuff like that since he's under center, but I don't think I really did. Um, some uh, Just some underneath uh, blitzes, as you can see here. I mean, there's just, what am I going to do? Let him run or let him take the pass? It, it's an impossible scenario. I mean, this is just, like I said, his offense is pretty good. So here, I basically whiff, and then he just trucks. My my 92 hit power Steve Atwater, which never happens, and he ties up the game. I mean, this is just I, I, you know, like I said, this is a cheesy offense, but I still should have I should have put this game away at 14 nothing. It's not happening right now, so I switch it up, and I tried to uh, that play there was supposed to be this play, but I switched it up to a run because I thought I, I liked what I saw, and then on this play I hit the wrong button. There's no way that I I never throw it to that. I always throw it to the running back, and I hit the wrong button. I must have hit two buttons at once, and I chuck it up and it gets picked off. I mean, the running back was wide open too. If you watch the replay on that, the running back was just wide open in the flats like he always is. That play is pretty much always <laughs> open in the flats to the running back. And I just totally make a, uh, I want to say a mental error, but uh, like I said, it's probably just me hitting a button bad or something. But I never throw it to that route. That route is just there to pull back coverage. <laughs> and it didn't work out. So here, second and eight. He's still trying to run it. Luckily, my run defense is showing up a little bit. Uh, I'm sending this blitz. I haven't sent this blitz pretty much the whole game because it's not really something I want to do uh, against a four tight end set. And uh, he's got to kick the field goal. So I basically I step up there, fill the hole with the, with the safety, and I, find, I force the field goal, which is not the worst thing considering. So here, look at this. What kind of animation is that? A fucking corner just grabs. Is that a corner or is that a safety? I'm not sure. Maybe it's Amos, who's like the 92 overall version. But still, like Adrian Peterson gets like suction arm tackle. Like what kind of nonsense? So I'm going to run a hurry up because I'm thinking that I got an advantage again and I want to make him pay for it. I go the other way, though. I tried to trick him and it didn't work out. <laughs> I was too smart and I only ended up tricking myself. So we're going to go right back to this formation. I just put out this formation uh, in a series of plays. Um, and I, actually, the second play that I... I don't think I even run the, the second play in that. Uh, in that. But uh, this right here, I just read it. He's sending it like a house blitz there, which is not a good look. And I read it and I just throw it over the top. Um, I love when people blitz. I mean, that's like those those straight up to center passes are just perfect. So we're gonna try to run the ball over here. Sometimes you gotta slow the momentum of the game down, and I'm doing that with AP. Where's your block 62? If you would have hold that dude, I could have been gone. Uh, but you blocks nobody, so it is what it is. 
Um, so either way, I'm running hurry up now. Like I said, I just talked about slowing the game down. But once again, I feel like I got a little bit of a blocking advantage here. So we're gonna try to uh, we're gonna try to keep pounding it. I mean, I, he's he's pinching everything up because he realizes it. So I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna switch it up again. I'm gonna try, you know we're playing a chess match here. That's one of the best things about this game is, is is the chess match you can make with your opponents. So here we're gonna play that chess match. And I saw there was a little bit of space outside. Couldn't quite get gone though. It is what it is. I mean, it was uh, it was worth a try. So <laughs> here we're going to the sideline for about five. Um, that's a good formation, a good play. And then on third and six, I'm just going to keep this keep this going. I'm going to take it out to that to that flat. Uh, Tariq Cohen is just the man. Like I said, I, I have a, a 91 Marshall Falk now, and I'm using Tariq Cohen in these situations. I mean, he's so good. If you don't have that Tariq Cohen card, you know, check 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 out your life. <laughs> what are you doing with your life? Like, that's all I can say. That, ni that Tariq Cohen is, is not even that expensive. Go get him. He is a boss. Uh, this year, second and two, I see he's got nothing nothing over there under the flats. Like, I can just read the coverage, and I'm going to want to hurry up and do that again. He's basically, if I'm just pre-diagnosing, pre-snap reading, and I'm seeing gaps. Here's that gap again, that triangle route. Now he brings the safety down because he sees it. So I'm going to motion him over, and I'm going to do it to the other side with basically Cohen here. Uh, because he's still it's still the same formation even though he motioned the guy down there's still no underneath coverage and i'm seeing that so i'm just you know just putting in work diagnosing his d and I'm, I'm taking up time too here we go second and two once again he doesn't have a guy down there and i'm just seeing that although that guy got over there quick so i'm gonna roll out take off with my man cam and i almost get sack fumble man that's just you, i gotta be careful third and inches like i said i don't want to make that mistake to the point where, where 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 I make that you know Cam doesn't fumble like that so I'm not as worried but I'm still worried so I'm gonna take that little slide step there uh, and now it's to the point where I'm thinking I got to score um, you know giving the ball with no time it's looking pretty good for me he knows it too that's why he's calling his timeouts which typically you don't see and then on the very next play I take him inside on the first play outside on the second play and he doesn't know what to do with it Tariq Cohen baby like I said this guy is the man so that's what you want to do you want to give a guy the ball back with zero time and that's exactly what I did so. Here, I'm making every adjustment in the world, uh, although this guy's got to go far away. I mean, I have no faith that he's going to get that done in the very first play. What the hell, man? I'm in trouble. Luckily, I don't know why he ran out of bounds. He should have tried to, like, force it, and he has two timeouts. He messed up there. If he would have broke that tackle, he might have housed it and had been game over. But now it is a game. 11 seconds left. I'm sending the house back. And there, I almost get the game-winning pick, but you know what? I was stuck on the DT, which wasn't really the plan. But I've, I've lurked with DTs. That's not that's not something I haven't done. Um, but but I, either way, I mean, he's still got to hit the end zone on this play. Doesn't get it. Next play, he's got it. I mean, this is game right here. So I don't know what he's thinking, but he didn't like what he saw. Maybe he didn't think he could get it. Calls a timeout, try to catch me slipping with a screen play. <laughs> And you know what? It almost worked, except it's not going to work. I mean, that, who does that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In the NFL, you got to throw it up and try to moss it. He fails. Um, I mean, that's what happens, man. I mean, he didn't. He lost because his play calling was four plays, and then when he had to switch it up, he couldn't. So that's, you know what I'm saying? Practice more than four plays, bro. You know, stop being such a cheeser. But either way, that's the game. Do me a favor, hit the like button if you want to see more gameplay, and that's it. Thanks for watching, Mad Money. Shout out. If you need more help or just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.